I'm Katie. This is my niece Katie, and we it is National Popcorn Day, and we're having movie and popcorn night. So we're just chilling. Bailey made this cute little teepee, and we're in the teepee. What is with you? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Katie made this cute little teepee, and we're in this cute little teepee. <laughs> I just caught her Bailey <laughs> for like this five times. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. And we're all cushioned up and we're cozied up. And uh, we're going to have that fun evening just hanging out. Mm -hmm. But first, we have to make some popcorn. And we're going to do fun popcorn things. <laughs> yeah. Unusual recipes. <laughs> so, come on, let's go. Yes, Palmino's. <laughs> So for National Popcorn Day, we're going to make popcorn in unusual ways. Now this does work. This is a healthy way of making your own microwave popcorn. You just use a paper bag, like a grocery bag from the store, or this was a gift bag. I just cut off the handles. And you just pour the popcorn kernels in that bag. Just like that. Now that our popcorn is in the bag, now we're just going to roll it down to about halfway. I'll let you do that. because then you want to make sure you have room for the popcorn to spread out because it gets fat. Big. And then um, you're going to put this in the microwave for two and a half minutes is what I usually do at home. So, um... <laughs> So for your own microwave popcorn in a paper bag, you don't have to put any butter or oil in the bag. Just put the seeds in and roll the bag down halfway, but just give it enough space to expand. You're going to be so happy. It's so healthy it to do really it that good. way, and um, you don't have to eat any of those preservatives and nasty chemicals that they put in your grocery store popcorn microwave bags, ready-made I like those bags. <laughs> I'm trying to make my method look cool. <laughs> Next, we're going to see if we can pop corn in a crock pot. So, Katie, go ahead and put some popcorn in there, and then we'll go watch our movie and see what happens. That'll do. Thanks. Perfect. Test it up. <laughs> Just in case it works. <laughs> So Bailey's trying a new product today. These are these Pop-Tart Bites. I've never had them, um, and you just tried it just now, so what do you think of it? Since it's popcorn day. It's good. Pop Bites. Does it taste like the normal Pop-Tart, or is it a little bit more? There's a little jumper on. It looks like a, um, a fruit fig newton, but it's not. It's really good. It's fun. A little taffy. I tried to it's, microwave it. It's chewy. But it's, it's good, but it doesn't taste like the normal. Oh, look! I guess we'll edit out our snapping. Yes, please. I smell a little burnt. So here's the bag. The bag is hot, so be careful. And we have popcorn and... Was that burnt? No, no, it's, it's just bad. part of the bag. I was like, what's that in there, a snail? <laughs> Yeah. Now you can put any kind of topping, of course, that you want on this popcorn. Katie and I, I'm sorry I called you Bailey earlier. I didn't know I did that. It's so confusing. It's fine. Um, first for being called Bailey. <laughs> Katie and I like butter and salt, so that's what we're going to do. Because someone... Okay, so our butter is melted. Voila. Mm. I'll take all that. Mm. Forgot to show you. Oh my. We're gonna need napkins. This is gonna be so good. This is like old fashioned. Like we used to have in the day. In the 70s. She's before you were born. Just a bit. Salt. She's so cold. With her special, like, measuring tools. Her hands. <laughs> My 
my special measuring tools. All right. And when we come back, we're going to make popcorn cereal if that pops in the crock pot. But we're going to watch our movie and have a good time and just chill for National Popcorn Day. Yay! <laughs> That cat is that teacher. Yeah, McGonagall. And Amagus. Oh. Whoa. Good evening. So now, on our popcorn evening, we're going to try to make popcorn cereal. Now, I've heard of this before, um, but I've never had it, and there's no real good recipes anywhere, so we're just going to make something up. So, Katie and I are one of our favorite cereals. Come in. Is cinnamon toast crunch so we're gonna try to do a cinnamon toast crunch um, so we're gonna try to coat the popcorn first and we have to do it so the popcorn doesn't just get soggy so I'm gonna try butter and maybe some corn syrup to, to coat the popcorn so it doesn't sog up in the milk so here we go Yay. so we're melting butter in a skillet and I'm gonna add a little bit of corn syrup Stir that in there. Okay, so stir in the corn syrup there. And then we're gonna... So many seeds. <laughs> oh, seeds are great. Make sure you cook that all real good, and then we're gonna add our cinnamon. So here we are. There's more seeds than I'd like. Then I have the cinnamon sugar mixture. And I'm going to add that to the popcorn. Stir it up! She's just coating the popcorn with cinnamon and sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Except there's seeds in there that might stick. Okay. So now we're going to get it out of the pan and then put it in two cereal bowls and then try it. So I'm going to put this popcorn in bowls, but I'm going to pick it out by hand and make sure I don't get any kernels in there because that would be really terrible. So I'm just going to go through and pick that out. That's kind of a... I suppose you could put it through a, like a colander first so all the kernels can fall out the bottom. So make a note of that. So I'm eating this cinnamon sugar popcorn right out of the pan and it is delicious. So if the melt doesn't work, this does. <laughs> Yum, it's good. So um, Katie doesn't want to eat the popcorn as cereal. She says she doesn't really even like normal cereal. So she's just going to eat hers. She's just going to eat hers plain. But I'm going to try this. Just for you. It does. It's really good. Here we go. I've always wanted to try this. Can you see? It's got a great crunch. really good. It's crunchy. Now when it does hit the parts of the popcorn that isn't coated, it gets soggy pretty quick. You know what it tastes like? Um, it reminds me of those, that puffed rice. But just think of the possibilities. That's so good. Movie night. This is really good. And I think if you didn't use corn syrup and stuff, that could be healthy. But um, you can do honey and nut. I'm gonna try that next. Cinnamon and sugar, yes, it's really good. It works. So another favorite cereal is um what do you call that? Nut and honey or honey nut Cheerios, nut and honey crunchy stuff. So I'm melting butter in the skillet. 
And now I'm gonna add some honey. Stir that together. And I mixed up some peanuts in my hand. drizzly coated. Okay, so now we're about to taste the honey and nut popcorn cereal. Can you see that? So let's put milk on it and see what it does. Here we go. I said, here we go. Let us taste this. Better eat quick, guys. First of all, it has a nice crunch. Mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. It tastes kind of like... It tastes kind of like corn pops a little bit. I wonder why. <laughs> Corn pops with like peanut clusters or something. Now all I had was the the um honey roasted peanuts. So I'm tasting that. But I I bet if you just get plain peanuts it'll be better. So there you have it. It is not popping. It has been well over an hour. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Um, but the popcorn is getting darker, so it just might burn in there. But I won't ruin your crock pot, Cindy. Don't worry. Um, yeah. What do you think of the honey nut popcorn? Well, it's really good. Like really, really, really good. Good. It is good plain, so if nothing else, this makes a really good snack mix. <laughs> it kind of has an aftertaste. It does, because like I think... Like dandy one. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed our National Popcorn Day Yay. celebration. Um, <clears throat> we love you guys, and we're glad you came and joined us. And remember, whatever you're going through and whatever you're facing... Keep the faith! faith.